Before we get started, please take a moment to click that thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to talk about this new announcement, the Theta Video API, at a very high level. I'm not going to go into the technical details of it or anything like that. That'll be for a later video. But essentially, from what I'm reading, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to create a website and on that website you will be able to have videos that are delivered in a decentralized fashion so there will be absolutely zero censorship basically you can put out any video whatsoever and that video will be delivered via the Theta Edge Node Network. And essentially, when you create a website, normally you have to deal with how much bandwidth is used to have that website served up. This is why a lot of creators on their website will just use links to another video streaming service such as YouTube or one of those. And that basically saves them the cost of the bandwidth consumed by people watching that video. The problem with that is the fact that if you use something like YouTube, if they don't like the content, that you're putting out they'll kill your channel you have no recourse whatsoever when they decide that they don't want your message getting out and anytime you are using a third-party video hosting site be it YouTube or uh, any other platform they can take you down in a heartbeat uh, if they don't like what you're having to say whereas with this you are going to be able to upload a video to the Theta Video API. It's going to transcode it into all of the various video formats that are needed. And then it's going to provide you a link that you can simply drop into your website that when somebody goes to your website and they decide that they want to watch the video, they click on it and the video will be served up via the Theta Edge network. And there's nobody there that's going to say, well, we don't like the message you're trying to put out, so we're going to kill your uh, video. The Edge network will handle it in a decentralized fashion. So there's nobody that's going to tell you you can't say this or that essentially if you wanted to be talking about any of the quote forbidden subjects on the YouTube platform for example nobody's going to be able to tell you that because the edge network is just going to deliver the video to uh, anybody that clicks on it and of course because it's being delivered via the edge network you're not having to deal with the high cost of bandwidth. If your video goes viral, it's, it's not a problem for you. I don't have a real good understanding of their pricing model, but what I do know is they are only accepting T-Fuel as a payment for when you want to use their system. And from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like it's going to be very, very inexpensive. As Mitch Lou says in the article, it's going to enable the small and medium sized creators to do this to literally compete head to head via their own website with the giants like YouTube to put their videos out and I can't wait for this thing to come into its full abilities we're probably not going to see this fully out there for six months to a year maybe I don't know could be sooner than that but from what I'm seeing so far it looks incredibly good I'm excited about it I think that this could very well be the thing that's going to cause the price of theta to go to the moon really exciting to sum it up you literally would be able to have your website serving up all of your videos independent of any other platform you could compete head-to-head -head with YouTube but 
not have to uh, worry about somebody telling you you can't say that. So, you know, people like Cliff High and Greg Hunter and uh, Alex Jones, just to name a few, who have been forced off of YouTube and forced to have their videos hosted on one of the less restrictive sites like Rumble or others, they will need to depend on any of those. They'll be able to use the Theta Video API to produce their video and get a link back that they can just drop into their website and their video content will be distributed censorship free via the Theta Edge network and we're not talking inside of Theta TV now we're talking just it'll be totally transparent to the uh, viewer and I think it's going to be huge I mean these people love them or hate them due to their controversial subject matter they have a right to say what they have to say whether you agree with it or not freedom is about being able to say what you want to say and people can decide whether they agree or not agree or, or watch it or not watch it whatever but nobody has the right to tell them that they can't say what they you know have to say okay this is an example of how it'll work so step one upload your video uploading the video the theta video api will process it and they've already got some code in here for their example but if you go down here and you click run it is now uh, doing the encoding as you can see right here and when it's done, step two, it shows you, there's their video, the uh, rotating globe. And uh, if you wanted to see that full screen, you can click on that and it'll produce it full screen. And uh, as you can see, the video is playing, the world is rotating and uh, if you drop it back down and that's how it works and you do this optimizing and if you want it to go uh, read go read the documentation you can click here and it brings you to this documentation where you can read a little bit about it check it out let's see theta video api dot com so you would sign up for an account on there and then when you log in you would uh, produce your video upload it and it will transcode it for you and then give you back a link that you plug into your website and uh, whenever somebody clicks on the link in your website it transparently serves up the video to your viewer on your website and it's totally independent of any other streaming video site so there's no censorship it's handled by the theta network you pay for using this video API with tfuel that's the only way you can pay for it so it's going to create a demand for the T fuel because anybody that wants to take advantage of this is going to have to buy T fuel to pay for using this. And like I say, I don't have a real good understanding of their of their payment model other than it uses T fuel and they give some examples which I'm not going to go into here. But you know that's uh, that's what it is. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation. So cue the music.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me. And I'll see you in the next video.